Hey guys, so this is the first time I'm trying to do this with the piano uh, students. And uh, what I wanted to do is talk a little bit about how you could start to just sit down at the piano and not need the music all the time in order to make something happen for your study, right? So that you'd have a sense of maybe how to just kind of experience the joy in music um, more so than just the classic uh, enrichment that it provides, this classical study, which is very enriching, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, once you learn how to read and knowing how to read will hopefully stick with you, especially for you kids who've been studying for a few years now. Um, you just got to remember the tricks to... Um, tricks of the trade for, for remembering the notation. So here is this idea. It starts on the black keys, and I'm going to show you it's upside down, but it starts on the black keys, and what you can do is you don't have to always put your hands on the two below and the three above, two below, three above. What happens if you put it here? Now this would be the position that I'll demonstrate today, and this is actually the shape of an E minor 7 chord. So if you were to do something like this, all of a sudden, we have that. Which, you know, might sound a little bit jazzy or something, but to me, that's one of the most fascinating things about this instrument. is getting it to sound a little bit more advanced. And jazzy would be one way, so. And then we move it. Scooch out to the end here. Okay, now, so uh, to save space for on this file so it's not super long, then the other thing is what happens when you put only a one white key, that white key would be an A. And that works out for this position, especially the one that I talked about. So hopefully that gives you a little bit to play with and to explore and experiment so that you're not, you know, nearly um, one channel. I mean, music is such a wide array and a universal uh, art that is so fascinating when you get into it. So enjoy, experiment, have fun.